Here we are in a, another dumpster. Looks like we're just gonna have to go holy what we got here. Nothing here. Sounds a little bit broken. She is. This one too. It's unfortunate. Nice um, brand too, Crofton's. Let's take this uh, box out here. Ooh. Uh, it doesn't look too good. We'll take these out and just put it to the side here. Looks like we've got a little bit of... I don't know what these are. Like... Like bits of material. Maybe like... Um, serviettes or something. Let's just see. Put them in here. What have we got here? Oh, it's uh, like a like a miniature clothesline. They spread out, and you can oh, grab that. Some yarn, some socks. Okay, <laughs> let's grab some yarn for our crafters. So cool to finally find a few things. Put that on top there for now. To be honest, wasn't expecting to find anything. Let's open this up a little bit. Now we'll move this pack out of the road. And put it back when we're done. Okay. Some chocolates. Favourites are all gone. Uh, let's move these down here. Put those back when we're done. There's tons of these. Uh, I'm not sure what they are, but there's lots of them. I think they're like tea towels or something like that. That's what I think they are. Some sort of cracker. That's um, like uh, one of them. Oh, it's a um, it's a weight put on your ankles or your wrists, and that's it's a, it's a weight. Oh, that's cool. I got here some kids' tights. Also put those down there. Let's grab all of these cloths. Look, there's another one of those dishes. <laughs> Some more over here. Oh, there's all of the little chocolates from that um, box of favourites. Well, they're all individually packed, so we'll collect those. <laughs> Oh look, the chocolate is still in the pack. I can add that to the favourites. Free chocolate, they're always my favourites. <laughs> Let's move around here, but there's all of these ones here. And a bit of a nut bar too. Cool gift idea, the old uh, favourites. I'm just going to check out all of this match first and then we'll see what sort of food they got there. So that's cool. Some, oh, the package is open. Another ball of yarn. 
drop reduced price, dollar twenty. Oh, there's it. No good. What do we got here? Spoons. One good one. The rest are broken. And the best of mine is not good. Stretch silicone lids. Looks like the one is in there. Useful item. Oh, didn't even see that right in front of my eyeballs. Land of the dinosaurs, nice. Cool. Grab that weight. And of course the ice cube tray. Move these out of the road, see what else we can find. Oh heck yeah. Oh they open. Looks like they're getting into the habit of um cracking open these um these packets, but not the inner packet. Wonder if these are in here. No. Tons of these uh, like tea towels. I'd say that they are. That's what I say that they are. Crumpets, keep those close. What have we got here? A Lacura eyeliner pencil. Okay. Oh boy, excuse the uh, the angle. My camera is so loose, guys. I do apologize. I've got a whole heap of yogurts. It's been pretty cold. Just got to make sure that the date is all right on them. Oh my gosh. Let's try this again. Shall we cuddly wings? <laughs> oh boy. Some gloves. It's broken. Put that right there for now. Oh, it's a nice green one too. Uh, some gluten free bread. Oh, what have we got in here? Some bananas. Do, do apologize for the uh, camera angle before, guys. Let's hope we've got it right now. Uh, there's a box in there, but the pencils are gone. And same with this one here. Comic book art. That's cool. Uh, we'll grab these. You can always add markers to them. That's right, we're looking at the dates of these um, yogurts. It's pretty cold here, so apple pie flavoured. I usually don't get the, the dairy, but because it's been so cold... Uh... <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, we're gonna... Open that right up. Let's have a look at these uh, rolls. So, gonna make a little pile here. Let me get our box. Some more of those tea towels. Best of bullets. Nice. Hummus. Pumpkin hummus. Sweet potato hummus. Nice. Like there's a few bananas in here. Let's get the sourdough bread. Oh, pizzas. Used by the 
25th of August one day out you know it's uh, they look in good condition I get those home and put them in the freezer and then they'll be a great donation give them to them frozen so we're definitely going to take those and put a pile over here I'll take a few and then I'll leave a few for our next divers some sourdough Turkish rolls those are nice oh yes these are the square crumpets these are quite new I'll grab some of those there's only a couple of packets I'll grab a couple of those and what else they got here oh looks like we got ourselves some chocolate chip muffins serious they're good they're still good packets good on them first of the month oh it's compromised well we'll have to take those home for the dog i think we'll take those home for the dog if anything some more turkish rolls we'll take they look fine they look fine oh, no, no thank you on that one so we're just creating some space here that's a bit of bit of blue vein cheese here <laughs> some more fish we're just gonna we're not gonna take the fish unfortunately bass of fillets but we'll make a little pile for for the next diver consideration is key to connection and community some more Turkish rolls I'm just trying to shift everything to this side so I can get underneath here and see what's underneath and so definitely grab these uh, sweet potato hummus dates look just fine on them little snack pack cheese and crackers some more sourdough bread that's the artisan baker baker type bread delicious oh, some rocket leaf I mean it doesn't look wilted but I mean it would need to get used like straight away you know you can't be mucking around with that oh, some more of the yogurts let's shift them over here I'm just trying to create some space here so we can have a look on this side and then we can oh buttermilk uh, this is um shelf shelf buttermilk to some more pizza let's chuck that over here i want to get underneath this bag here and see what they got chocolate milks we shall leave those Get some more meat, oh yes dog food dog food definitely get that for our uh, lovely puppy oh there's quite a few of them Julius is quite a good brand as well it's a uh, as long as we uh, put them on the best before see i love when i see that best before and uh that's not until next month i'm crazy gonna take all of the dog food for my boy heck yeah i'm just glad that it's nice and cold oh yeah there's some there's some bananas in here boy and there's another one of these drawing tech things worth one of them's got a pen okay nice that's cool I kind of like those this looks like there's a couple of them under here we've got here some chicken thigh steaks we are not going to take uh, any of the uh, chicken thigh steaks but we're definitely going to take all of the dog food and um, I've got friends 
that have dogs too. And who wouldn't want to give their dog a nice piece of beef eye fillet steak, right? That's 19th of the 9th. Still cold, man. That's coming home. <laughs> yep, so no to the oh, chicken, butter chicken. They was like one of my favorite flavors. And we already said no to the bass of fillets. Seafood's a real high risk food, eh guys? It's really high risk. Let's see if we can salvage some more of these bananas. What have we got here? Oh, that's just for advertising. And salvage those ones. You know, price of food is going up, it's getting crazy and crazy, it's not getting better. And yet here we are, mincing over scraps they have no respect for. No respect for the grower, no respect for the farmer, the people that, that drive it to, our, our stores. Well, we're, well, I'm not going to dig any deeper, guys. I've got a nice little pile over here for um, other divers. This is what we've got here. All of this dog food, bananas. We've got some hummus there, some meat for the dogs, some pizzas, all of these tea towels and other bits and pieces, and these tech drawing books. Just awesome first score plus all of this breed and buns super exciting well I'm gonna load it up into the car and um, we're gonna head off to the next one so I will see you guys there okay see you guys there cool nice one well here we had another dumpster just opened up the lid and came across this little bag Looks like it's the night for yarn, guys. Spinning some yarns. It's a crafter's jackpot. Little flower, but yeah, let's grab this yarn because there has been a demand for it lately. But we'll have a quick look at uh, the rest of the of the dumpster. Let's just quickly put this in the seat here, right there. Oops! Sorry, did I bang your guys' head? Sorry about that. <laughs> We're in spot. <laughs> The needle yarn there. We'll grab that. Spider Man, Spider Man. Adult dress up. Um, a wooden coat hanger. That is super cool. No plastic and not wire. I love it. <laughs> See how we find the value in things so differently? Like to me, that's golden. That's a keeper forever. Let's just put that over there. And let's have a quick rummage around with some of these other bags. It just looks like it's pretty light and trash, so experience has taught me that there's nothing in here. Same with this bad boy. It is light. It's not as light, but... OK, 
Okay, what are these? What are these? Oh, they're buttons. They're, uh... You know, they're uh, like, uh... Well, we'll grab these. Oh, this. Another one. Silver ones. Got little clasps on the end. It's weird because um, I just had a conversation with um, one of my local um, viewers saying that she wants more, uh, some crafting stuff and some and if I come across any yarn because she's only just down the road yeah, that's cool I'm sure she'll be interested in these that's her little pile what else you got in here Let's put that there. Let's see. Let's see this one. Come on, baby. You drive me crazy. Handles. Yeah, well, let's grab those. Grab those because uh, I light up the um, like the oil, the oil thing, and you put the tea light candles underneath them, and it makes the house smell mean. So, whilst this may not have a a lid, this could make a great vase. I'll leave that in there just in case I might like have a. Uh, might have a lid. I might just have one. You never know. What we got here? Looks like the trash. I already checked that box. Nothing. There's nothing. Okay, that is pretty much it, I think, guys. Guys and guys, this is not only a broken glass, but a broken frame. So yeah, let's take our yarn, our uh, candles, our little jar, and of course our little those buttons, and. Uh, Let's be grateful for all of the things that we find and save from the landfill. Don't see you guys at the next one. Here we are at another dumpster. Holy Moses. Look at all that chicken. Crikey. Look, they must have just dumped it out too. Let's see what we can see what we can see in here. Damn. Let's see what we can see.
hummus and crackers for sure I'll grab those look at all these look at all these Save a, a couple of bunches of roses, if anything. Yeah. Just we'll try and we'll put these to the side for now. I'm not down for uh, saving the chicken. Ch chocolate milk. Just put these to the side. Let's see what else we can see. Find here. Tons of bread. Look at this. White sourdough bread. Um, meat for the dogs. For the animals. I like the vacuum packed stuff better. You know, they keep, it's super cold right now. Kebabs, chicken kebabs. Wow. The breads, we've got tons of bread. If you remember from our first. Uh, tons of bread. Let's see what else we can find at the bottom here. Well, not the bottom, but you know. Just below the surface. It's opened. What's this here? Oh, some herbs. Definitely down for saving some mint. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's a weird kind of a thing. Thing to say when you when you're in a dumpster. You know, like, mmm. <laughs> Orange juice. There's nothing in that box. Chicken pieces are meant to be frozen. There's tons of breads down there. Kiwi fruits. I'll probably save those. A little bit soft, but they can be washed and eaten straight away. Let's see what else we can find in here. Oh, I've got tons of bread already, guys. So let's let's make up a, a pile up here for the uh, next divers. So they don't have to dig so deep. Be just ready for them. I'll leave those there for them too. I might, I might not take it, but um, other people may, and that's okay for them. I'll do my job. Cranberries, dried cranberries. Okie dokie. Some more breads here. Right here, chicken breasts, more of those, look at all that chocolate milk guys, crazy. A head of lettuce, let's put that up there, see where anything just below the surface milks 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 gives me an upset tummy milk lactose intolerant it's not cool <laughs> well i mean there's food to be had and food to be saved Tons of bread, 
that is uh, so difficult to donate, guys, the bread. I don't know uh, how many times I have to tell that story. Oh, some more cranberries. We will grab those. Some more herbs. Another bunch of mint. Definitely usable. No, thank you. And of course, more milk. Well, here we go. We got a couple of bunches of roses, cranberries, meat for the animals, a few kiwi fruit, some herbs, and uh, of course, we've piled up some bread and the kebabs for the next divers. So, always grateful for whatever we are able to save and um, and always considerate of others that come after us so let's put this close this down and see you guys at the next one nice job right, here we are at another dumpster oh. <laughs> Beers! Grab the beers. Doesn't look like there's anything else. But here's cheers to beers, Fraser Briggs. I don't know what that what that beer is like, but have a quick look on the other side here. Nice. <laughs> take anything Seems like all these stores are throwing out their chocolate chocky milks and of course breads and mm, orange juices I think they have any real interest. All those uh, dips make good to us. Already got some of those dips. Yeah, okay. And chocolate milks. But we have beers. <laughs> Well, let's take our beers and give thanks for what they give us. <laughs> we'll see you guys at the next one. Now, don't mind my hair, guys. I'm a blinking hot mess. But I've just left the 7-Eleven and it's, it's quite late at night. In fact, it's just after midnight. And um, I went to go and uh, uh, get a water and the um the attendant was throwing away tons of donuts and i asked him i says you know is it um will i be able to grab you know some of those donuts and told them a little bit about what i do and then you know them she said she couldn't because she wasn't allowed to basically i says oh well what will happen to you you know if um if you um, were to give them away because I just plan on donating them the next day to you know there's some hungry people out there you know in the community and she says it probably get fired so so you know what that means is is that 7-eleven is threatening their employees with termination um, for donation basically there's got to be something done about that sort of mentality you know um, of course you know I, I don't want her to lose her job but I mean is that the consequence of, of kindness and compassion and empathy 
you know, uh, to lose your job. I says, well, losing your job wouldn't be the worst thing. There's plenty of work out there. Um, you just hope that people would have a conscience. Would I risk my job um, for that kind of con for that kind of kindness? Absolutely, without any hesitation. If someone asked, I would I would do it. But you know, in, on the interim, I would follow the policy. But yeah, just wanted to share that real quick. Okay, guys, peace.